Now this is basically easy problem related to the concentration cell. So you have example of concentration cell. This side you have reaction that is Az2 Az plus and this side also you have a reaction that is Az plus to Az. So this is the effective reaction. Only thing is this side Az plus concentration is C1, this side concentration is C. So this is example of concentration cell. So you have a concentration cell. Now let us discuss this one. So left hand side oxidation. So oxidation happens left hand side Az Az plus plus electron and this is your E degree cell is E degree and now right hand side you will have let us say what is the concentration Az2 Az plus Ki I minus concentration I know this side. Are you getting or not? So I know, I know the I minus this side. Now this side I know the NO3 minus Az plus NO3 minus Az plus is 100% soluble. So I will have this side reaction is Az plus plus electron and this will give you e uh, Az. Now this side let us say if this value is x that is Az2 Az plus so this value has to be minus x and the concentration of Az plus is 0 0.05 this side because this is 100% soluble. So the concentration of Az plus is now let us add this to reaction. If I add, so electron goes out. So I will have, and this is just solid, and this is solid. And the concentration of Ag plus is, let us say, C1. We will find this concentration. So I have Az2 Az plus, Az plus Az, and this is solid. And the concentration is 0 0.05. And now this goes this side, again Az plus. Az plus concentration is C1 and then you have Ag solid this side. Now E degree cell is 0 in this case, E degree cell is basically 0. Now I can calculate Az plus concentration. So you know Az plus plus Cl minus I minus left side that is basically Ksp. So if you see the left side Az plus plus I minus is Ksp, I minus is 0 0.05. So, Az plus I can calculate. So, Az plus we have Az plus is equals to Ksp divided by 0 0.05, 0 0.05. And now let us write E degree cell is 0. And now E cell I can calculate. So, this is at equilibrium. Uh, basically, E cell is given. E cell is 0.788 volt. So, the EMF of the cell is, so now let us say, I can write Nast equation E cell is equals to E degree minus 0 0.0592 by number of electron is 1 and log this side will have Az plus that is concentration of C1 and we have calculated this value is Ksp by 0 0.05. So this value is Ksp divided by 0 0.05. And now this side Az plus is 0 0.05. Are you getting or not? So this divided by Az plus. And this is, are you getting or not? So this will go into the numerator. And this will go into the denominator. So the numerator is Ksp by 0 0.05. And denominator is again 0 0.05. So this I have to multiply by 0 0.05. Are you getting? And now E cell is given. So E cell is 0 0.788 volt. So this is 0 0.788 volt and E degree 0 minus 0 0.0592 log Ksp divided by 0 0.05 raised to the power 2. So this means now I can calculate log Ksp divided by 0 0.05 raised to the power 2. This is simply minus 0.788 divided by 0 0.0592. So let us calculate this value. So 0.788. So I will have 0 0.0788. No, simply 0.788. This divided by 0 0.0592. 0 0.0592. So this value is 13.13. 13.31. So let us check again. 13.31. So this is minus 13.31. Are getting so what is the Ksp value? So Ksp is 
I can write log k s p is 10 to the power if I remove this log what I will have I will have k s p is equal to 10 to the power minus 13.31 I think all of you understand this one so let us say now I can write simply k s p is equals to 10 raised to the power minus 13.31 and I have to multiply also this by 0.05 raised to the power 2 things are difficult here this is let us say I can write 10 to the power minus 14 so this value I can write 10 to the power minus 14 into 10 to the power plus 1 and minus 0.31 are you getting or not so I have added plus 1 and I have subtracted plus minus 1 so this is minus 14 and this becomes plus 1 so if I add so are you getting or not so this is 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 so let us summarize so we will have 25 into 10 to the power 14 and 4 10 to the power minus 18 so 10 to the power minus 18 and into 10 raised to the power this is around 0 0.7 are you getting or not so this is 0 0.69 exact value now what we have to do is we have to calculate anti log of 0 0.69 are you getting or not so the only point is anti log of 0 0.69 Six, nine. Now for me it is easy to calculate uh, we can use calculator so this is 10 raised to the power point 0.69 so I can use 10 raised to the power point 0.69 so this comes out to be 10 raised to the power point 0.69 this is 4.897 so this is 4.897 so 25 into 4.897 and 10 to the power minus 18 so let us calculate 4.25 into so this value 25 multiplied by my answer in the previous case so that is 4.89 so this value so 1 122.24 so this value is 122.24 into 10 to the power minus 18 so now I can say this is around 1.22 into 10 to the power minus 16 so this 